Hi everyone, welcome to Perceptions of Injustice. This video is part two of the analysis of Donna Adelson's emails to Wendy Adelson throughout her divorce battle, Wendy's divorce battle. Thank you for Judy, the YouTube lawyer, for allowing me to use these videos that she made on YouTube to comment on the emails. Is from Donna, Tuesday, June 25th, 2013. To Wendy, subject, please read, very important. Hi, honey. Okay, just like it says on your ne necklace, never, never, never give up. It's time for action. It's time to take control of your life and not let Jibbers think he just won anything by having you remain in Tallahassee eight hours away from the only family you have and lose out on what will be a job that will afford you and your children advantages that they will never otherwise be able to enjoy. Let's show this F dash 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 F what will, will make him absolutely miserable. You know his weak points. So what Donna is trying to do in here, in these particular sentences, she's trying to pour some more oil, some more gas to the fire that's already there. She knows that Wendy is already frustrated by, by Dan Markel, and now she's even trying to make her more angry so she can get what she wants, so that Wendy doesn't stop the fight, so that Wendy keeps on fighting with all the power that she has. What kind of a mother does that? Usually a loving mother, her reaction to all of this would be, I would say that she would be uh, leaning towards the peace, the peace of mind of her daughter and her daughter's family in the times of the divorce. Instead of doing this, Donna is making Wendy even more angry, more frustrated, more feisty towards Dan Markel. Now she's saying, you know, his, let's make him miserable. Why would you want to make him miserable? I just don't understand, like, if you have a legal battle between you two. That's a mean thing to say. Like, let's make him miserable. Let's make the other person miserable. Why would you want to do that to anyone in life? Logically, for me, a logic person in the, in the situation where she's having a nasty divorce or whatever would be like, like they would ask for peace. But instead, Donna doesn't want to make peace. She wants him to be miserable. Getting Wendy out of Tallahassee to Miami isn't the only thing that Donna wants from this divorce. Donna wants from this divorce to let Dan Markel know who's the boss and who is in control. It's a personal thing between her and Dan Markel. It's not Wendy and Dan anymore. No human brain would understand that a loving mother would do something like that and would make her daughter more angry and less at peace. Money religion control. You have five weeks before your court date. I know you have a job that keeps you very busy. However, the rest of your life, and consequently dad's, mine, and yes, even Charlie's, will be affected by how well you can perform slash act before July 31st. You can be a good actress when you want to. So she is using all of her methods all of her cards with Wendy now, with the manipulation. And it's kind of kind of fascinating to read those emails, actually, and to break down these emails because it, it shows you exactly how a narcissist mother would be with her child to get what she wants. What kind of manipulation would she use? What kind of tactics would she use with her own flesh and blood she's manipulating her daughter she's saying to Wendy like not only your life will be affected by this whole thing and you relocating and divorcing your father and your mother and your brother it's like you have a huge responsibility on your back the whole family's sanity is comes from you relocating to Miami and that's why it's very important for you to do that Look how, how much she's pressuring her. I've seen you in action. You need to put on the performance of your life. Jibbers hasn't beaten the Adelson family yet. You have a very strong family behind you. Just remember that. Dad and I have done everything we could try to help you for the last 10 months. 
Now it's time to help yourself. We believe that you will be able to make this happen if you can put these actions before everything else this next month disease. And you know that you've only got the kids a limited number of days to do this, in parents. We believe that Jibbers will be saying, stop this. And you'll be telling him, you wanted me in Tallahassee. My children are going to, quote, fit in in this Bible belt. They're going to church every time I have them. I'm having them privately tutored at home to get them caught up for the Sunday school classes that I've registered them in for the fall. The class time sides with the service. I'll be attending. Tell him that you've got a new outlook on life and a new, quote, hope, and you'd like to go to, quote, heaven. Perhaps this must be the most disgusting thing I've ever heard or one of the most disgusting things I've ever heard Donna say she's basically teaching Wendy that she that Wendy should play on Dan Markel's weak points so she can get what she wants from him and so she can make him miserable one of his weak points is religion telling her that she wants the kids to go to church I don't know what to say to that that's very mean. She knows that this is very important for Dan Markel, and that's why she's playing this card. It's like threatening him. If you're not gonna let me move from Tallahassee, then they will that your children will become Christian. So he would like to join you and the boys at church. Plan of action. Number one, take photo of boys, parentheses, dress nicely, and parents, standing at the front door by the sign of a Tallahassee church. Then change your Facebook oh. status photo to this one so everyone will see this. Perhaps a line under the quote, new beginnings in Tallahassee, unquote, might be nice. The level of evilness that she has in her heart and mind and soul and body, she has so much hate, anger, just evilness. She's evil. She's trying to get back to Dan by showing everyone and his family and him and everyone else that the kids has be are becoming Christians now. She knows how this is important to him and his family, and she's trying to embarrass him. She's trying to tell him, you're not in control anymore. Even your boys will not follow your religious beliefs. Within minutes, Jibber should either see this or we'll be getting calls from his friends slash acquaintances about this. Hmm. How happy do you think he will be? Number two, make arrangements to get the boys, quote, caught up with a private tutor. Parentheses. Teenage. Look at the details that she is thinking about. She's, she's going through details with Wendy, like uh, what to wear clothes with the picture. She's telling her dress nicely in front of a church and then she has bullet points she's literally taking this as her full-time job seriously she is the mastermind of all of this she is the maestro in all of this catholic church member and parents <coughs> who will come to the house to teach the young men oh, about no. jesus parentheses if you don't have time to arrange for this to happen i will gladly do it I will happily do it for you, end parents. He or she will serve as a good, quote, babysitter assistant, unquote, for you while you're preparing dinner, etc. Smiley face. Number three. She's convincing her why is this good for her. So you can have some time for preparing dinner and stuff. So, so this is convenient for you even on different aspects, not only on, not only to piss Dan off. Jibbers know that your children will be baptized mm. in the Catholic Church, and you'll certainly invite him to the event. Let him know that the Catholic Church is, is a big part of your life now with the boys, and you'd like him to be a part of it. As long as he wants you to remain in Tallahassee, the boys will be involved with you in church-related activities and ceremonies. Let him get used to it. I've already checked this out, and a baptism can be arranged within two weeks. We can oh. send out evites to Jibbers, his parents, sister, and anyone else you want to invite. Number four. Look how she's using the kids. 
it's a disgusting way of using the kids, the innocent children that are already going through so much because of their parents' divorce. Even if it was a good divorce, it would be very difficult for such ages. She is using them literally as a weapon to make him miserable. She is using these kids. Billy, stop. And you, Wendy, trust your kids with her. Wow, what a loving grandma. I'm looking into summer camp programs for the boys. Billy, stop. We will pay for it, even if the boys end up going only the few days that they're in Tallahassee on the days you have them prior to the hearing. (coughs) Number five, register them for toddler classes at church. I've looked into this, and even if they don't go, we can show gibbers that they are enrolled for the fall semester. And you cannot tell anyone this is an act. Somehow it will get back to gibbers. Five exclamation marks. She's teaching her all the logistics. This is how you dress. This is how you talk. This is how you speak to him. This is how you uh, act between people. Now this is all in caps. Take control from him. Get him to get to him psychologically. He's going to want you to stop this. Wendy, you've been through a very difficult year. This is no longer in all caps. You had to make a huge decision. You did that. It was the right decision. Now you have one final opportunity to make him angry. We want him ticked off so he realizes that that he could lose control over his kids. We plan to make a financial offer to him to allow this relocation. You need to work this plan and we'll help you through it so that it may affect how much we will offer him. Maybe he'd be willing to let you relocate if he knew his children would attend a private Hebrew academy like Donna Klein and Boca. Or perhaps he'd like something Sunday school. Sorry, he flipped a page too quickly. I couldn't catch that. Okay, next page. You have a little over three weeks till mediation. Let's get this going now. I know you would never want to think that you didn't do absolutely everything you could to try to come down to your family. Between living down here and having a job that will give your children the lifestyle they deserve, your life now and for sure in the future will be significantly better. Gary told us that he is not going to hire anyone until after your court hearing and after we try to make a financial offer to Gibbers. And as an aside, I think Gibbers is a family friend of theirs who has a law firm and was willing to hire Wendy to do medical malpractice or some other area of law. We don't want Danny to... I think she means Gary because Gibbers is Dan Markel. That's how Donna refers to him, also Andy. We don't want Danny to continue his religious influence over these children any more than what he's already done. If he keeps this up, and they won't want to eat in your non-kosher home, and if they see you don't want to attend their shul functions, you will be the outsider. As they get older and more involved under Jibber's religious influence, they will be able to request which parent they want to live with. So now she's telling her, or she's threatening her in a subtle way, of course, that someday he will take the boys away from you, even if it was just psychologically, because he's making them super religious and you do not eat kosher and then they will get away from you. So she's playing on her weak points now, not only on Dan Markel's weak points. So Donna, when she sits by herself to think about these type of things, like, okay, she sits and she says, a thought comes to her mind that she's going to email Wendy to tell her what to do. She's not only manipulating Dan or thinking how to manipulate Dan, but she's thinking also how to manipulate Wendy into manipulating Dan. Because in this email, you can see how she talks to Wendy. Like, for example, now she's she's playing on her weak point, her kids. Don't allow gibbers to have this power and control over them. Then in reality, he's going to have the same control over you. 
dad and I have changed our lives this year to support and assist you and the boys in every possible way. Charlie has accepted the loss in the office business income for us to do this because he loves you and wants only the best possible future for you. It's time for you to show us that you can put on the performance of your life for the next few weeks. Please call us after you read this. We're waiting to talk to you. If you have any other ideas to make a last chance for relocation happen, please let us know. We send this letter with our love and only the best intentions, mom and dad, sent from my iPad. Donna is a mix of, Donna is a concentration of hate, anger, dumbness, and evilness. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please help me grow my YouTube channel by liking, commenting, subscribing if you want to. Thank you for watching. See you soon.